time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on a Monday. Monday, August 21st to be exact. Hope everybody's doing good. Like uh, a lot of saw a lot of you, I just got stopped out of my quiet lunch. So hit both profit targets on my AM ratio. Hit uh, all profit targets on the Dick K special but stopped out of the quiet lunch, not so quiet lunch, quite a rally. So we are at highs of day for SPX, still within the expected move from the beginning of the day, both to the downside and the upside, but uh, quite a reversal. So I've already bought my longs for power hour. And it looks like it might be the 4,400, 4,395 potentially. We push towards a strike, we may get a straddle. you are new here today, all the comments, post questions, uh, make sure you post those in the zero live chat channel in Discord. SPX just below 4,400, up 27. Russell and Dow still slightly red. NASDAQ on fire, up over 1.5% today. Give it a couple minutes, see where we end up for tranche number one. So it looks like 4,400 on the calls and possibly 4,395 could be 4,400 on the puts too, if we push up. All right, coming down to the time. Let's see where we end up here in just another few seconds. Put side is right in between. All right. 
All right, looks like it's going to be 4,400, 4, Five points wide. I'm trying to get filled at six. Filled at 6.05 for tranche one. So we are in for tranche one. I bought the longs uh, just before I got on. So it's, I mean, when I, when I set up the OCO orders, I just do the shorts, but I've got the longs. So those longs will end up being worthless, but I'll just manage the shorts here. Got in at six oh five. So if we get down to about three sixty five, I would reduce my stop from four to three on tranche one. So I got my time fly. I know some of you guys got out of the time fly from last week. I have not. 4,400 was kind of the level that I would look to add a calendar adjustment. So if we don't pull back, I mean, if we, if we push up towards the end of the day, I may do it here towards the end of the day. If we pull back, I'll just be holding. Got an MES short strangle that's getting close to profit target. Currently trading around 39. If we can get out for 36 or less, that would hit profit target. That's on our 60, one was 60 days left. So the, so the wings, I just buy, so the calls, I just buy the first ones that are five cents. So you can see it was the 4435 on the call side. Those were the closest ones that were five cents at the time I bought them. And then on the put side, because they're going to be further away, I bought 10 cent. I bought them for 10 cents. So it was the closest to at the money that were 10 cents at that time. So I'm just trying to buy cheap wings, but still have reasonable buying power.
So your your decision in in deciding that obviously sounds like you understand how to pick the shorts, but the wing width is going to be uh, based on kind of your comfort level as far as how you want to structure that with you know your account size, buying power, all that stuff. I'm just trying to buy the cheapest wings that still give me a reasonable buying power. Russell and the Dow still slightly red. Regional banks and real estate and retail red, energy red. Financial slightly red. Semiconductors and tech still strong as they have been all day. AMC down 22%, Nikola down 20%, Tilray down 6%. Moderna up nine and a half. NVIDIA up over 7%. Wow. Tesla up 7%. SPX hitting new highs on the day. Meta up two and a half. Microsoft up two. Amazon up 1%, Netflix up almost one, Apple up three quarters. I will go in with tranche two at 2.15, my time, central, here in about 12 minutes. A folos, does that make sense on the width of the wings? Yeah, it does. Thank, thanks for that. TGIF is down slightly. My six sevens up a couple hundred. The one three DTE that I put on earlier is down. I will be putting on a two four DTE double calendar here towards the end of the day as well. So if all else, what you'll want to do is check out the check out my trade plans. It gives you the link to all the back tests, shows you all the details of exactly how I enter. So tranche one, I'm looking for four bucks of credit with a four dollar stop. Tranche two, three dollar credit, three dollar stop. Tranche three, um, two dollar credit with a three dollar stop. So you want to, but and and do you have a uh, do you have uh, option Omega? You'll definitely want to be getting that to kind of help kind of create your own plan. Um, yeah, I do. He's up 30. And 
And then I don't, I don't have a, I don't use a profit target for power hour. I just let it go until five minutes till the bell. Here's the here's the link to follow us to the trade plans channel. Got a uh, it's got the video and then I've also got a spreadsheet in there that gives you everything right there. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can you hear me by the way? Yeah, no, the, the the Zoom is not open for that would get a little little hairy with everybody trying to talk. So no, it, we just use this channel, the Zero Live Chat channel. You are welcome, sir. I probably didn't hear you. I, I forgot to meet everybody. I probably didn't hear you because I didn't have my volume on until now. <laughs> All right. Still in nice range here for tranche one. Still got a few minutes before tranche two. Up near the upper expected move for the day. Picked up to 4401, it looks like. Uh, yeah, yeah, Andrew K. I have, if you look at the uh, Zero DTE course channel, I did a video on, on using the order templates. Have you seen that? Have you seen that one? Yeah, so I, I gave the um, an example as well as shared all the the order templates that I use for the different ones. And so you, what you'll probably want, you know, a lot of a lot of what I'm doing is either one to one or three to two. But 
you'll have, you can use the shared links of those order templates and then you can kind of, instead of creating it from scratch, you can just kind of um, tweak it to your, to your liking. The only downside with the order templates is you're, you're specifying your contract size as well. So if anytime you change position size, you have to have a new order template. And you got to create one for every width. So if, you know, for power hour, well, I'll pull, I'll pull it up here. So let me buy my longs for tranche two. So again, uh, like I mentioned before, I'm just buying the, the five cent calls that are closest to the money. So that's the 4430. Okay. Then I'll buy the 10 cent closest 10 centers on the put side. And the puts just changed to 15 cents, so they're not getting filled. Oh, got filled on one. So I moved it to the 65. There we go. All right, so I've got my longs for tranche two. Now I'm looking for the closest to three bucks on each side, which looks like it's going to be the 4,400 straddle for tranche two. So if I go to sell custom, see I got power hour, 10 points wide, 15 points wide, five wide straddle. I've got tranche two, 10 wide, 15 wide, five wide straddle. So you got to set them up for all the, all the widths that you do. Yeah. And, and the, because I'm using OCOs just on the shorts, that's why I buy my longs first because those OCO orders are just, just on the shorts. And because I set my position size for a, a month at a time, then I have those position sizes all as part of the templates as well. Next month, if I change, I'll have to go in and tweak each one. Looking like the 4,400 straddle. So I would choose my top, uh, my template for tranche two straddle 14 contracts is what I'm doing. Give it another minute before I enter. So I get as close to 215 as I can. But then like the zero DTE duck, my, my order templates are set up actually with the longs as part of the template as well. Cause I'm getting in and out of those as a full package. All right. 4,400 straddle trying to get filled at 640. Filled at 640 for tranche two on the 4,400 straddle. So you can, so you can set them up as a, uh, you know, for power hour, those longs are just going to be worthless anyway. 
So that's why I do it that way. But, and even on the AM ratio in the morning, uh, you know, I'm still trying to buy the cheap, cheap wings out there. So I buy those first and then I use the OCO for just the shorts. But like I said, with the duck, because it's a little bit different and I'm not just buying five cent wings on those. Um, I'm actually putting that on as a, the OCO is a, uh, is with the longs included in the order. Um, I've been, the only one I'm using the spreadsheet for now is the Dick K special. And that's just because I haven't, because it, that one is, is based on Delta and, and 55 wide. So again, it's not necessarily the, um, just the cheapest wings on that one. So I've been, I've been using the spreadsheet for that one. Partly just because I haven't set up the order template yet. Pushing right up to the expected move of where we started the day. 4402-ish. The good thing about the spreadsheet is you can change your position size without having to tweak it much, whereas the uh, order templates you do. So there's positives and negatives to both. I, I, do, I do like the order templates a little bit better. Here's the zero DTE duck back test. And I follow along with how this does. So you can see it's been pretty flat over the last few months. SPX still pushing new highs on the day. trying to get logged into my trader sync. So here's my actual results for zero DTE ducks. 
I don't remember when I started those. Let's just go year to date. So started in June. End of June is when I first started trading those. And I've had three losers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven winners. Seventy-eight and a half percent win rate. few minutes till tranche three. By my lungs. Looking for the closest to two bucks on each side. Looks like it might be the 4405, 4400, 4405, 4400. Give it a couple minutes, still looking like the 4405, 4400. SPX pushing the new highs again. Above forty four oh three. Give it just another minute. So I'll do cell custom tranche three, five wide. Try to get filled at 365. Filled at 365 for tranche three. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here shortly, I'm going to be entering a 2-4 DTE double count. Oh, there's my reminder. A 2-4 DTE. All right, just posted my 2-4 in the calendar channel. Meanwhile, in zero DTE power hour land, still hanging around 44.03. So you gotta keep an eye on tranche one. Okay, and it's six oh five. Let's see, so what did I say on that one? Once it gets down to about 365, I will reduce my stop on tranche one. It's currently trading at 420. Twenty third. Oh, did I do? Huh. Yeah, twenty third and twenty fifth. What am I missing?
44, 40 calls, 43, 60 puts, 23rd and 25th. Looks good to me. Strong one trading at three ninety. So I get down to three seventy. All right. Just to hang, hang down here around forty four hundred for just another minute. Change that from four to three, so I'll change that to 665. It gets down to 365. Three seventy five. There we go. Stop on tranche one to six sixty five. So my time flies to the point where I, it's above that 4,400 level where I need to make an adjustment. So I'm going to add a calendar.
All right. Good to go there. You can just hug this expected move all day. We'll be in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe dip down a little bit before we exit. Forty four hundred is the ideal number. Take a forty four hundred pin today. Uh, 10 seconds summary of the time fly strategy. Well, that wouldn't really do it justice. We've got a, uh, a full class on it in the, uh, in the butterfly course channel, but it's essentially a butterfly and a calendar, hence the name time fly. Another name for calendar spread is time spread. So there's a couple different ways to trade it that we talk about in the course, but um, I personally like to start with just the butterfly and then add the calendar as adjustment, but you could also set it up as one structure with a butterfly and a calendar to start. So like that calendar I just added, when I put, I put, I put the butterfly on first, some of the, some people got at it. It was up over 5%. So we're targeting five to 10%. I was holding off. I was holding out for a little bit more as price was coming down today. Obviously that reversed. So now it pushed up to my level that I stated before the, when I entered the trade that if it gets above that 4,400 level, I would adjust. And so I just made that adjustment. August, it's very dry for premium. Not sure about that. I think that's one of those myths. Well, the Russell is back in the green finally. Dow hanging around unchanged. Nice contraction and volatility. Our VXX trades are doing good. SPX at highs of day. Yep. 
Yeah, that one's down. That monster got that big monster move up. Volatility contraction pretty close to after, right after we got in. So that will do that to it. SPX pushing. Stopped at a tranche one at 685. So about an 80 cent loss for tranche one. No, I'm not trailing, just reduced my stop from four to three at 40%. Of forty four oh five. Tranche two stops at nine forty. Spreads currently trading at seven fifteen. Forty four oh six. What a bounce. Tranche two is trading at eight forty, stops at nine forty. Tranche three is at four fifty four. Five tranche uh, stops at uh, six sixty five. Gonna need a little settle. Just a few points lower is all we need. Just a little pullback. Settle back in under the expected move line.
All right, let's let's call that the high of day. No need to keep pushing. You made your point. You had a nice rally off the bottom. We get it. Let's just calm down. Everybody just calm down. Yeah, the did everybody get stopped out of tranche two who were trailing? My fixed saved me, I guess, on that one. Uh no one two today, Andrew K. I'm doing it. I did a one three and a two four. We got some ratios in here, nice. All right, we got 11 minutes till the bell, six minutes till exit. I mean, 4,400 is just a nice round number to pin at, if you ask me. A little bit of juice left, that's for sure. Tomorrow, we've got quite a few FOMC members speaking in the afternoon. Goolsby, Bowman, 
and then Goolsby again. That's what I've got on the Forex factory calendar anyway. Just creep and creep, creep, creep on down. Nice and slow. Tranche two, I'm going to put that at three bucks. It's currently trading at four. Tranche three, I'm going to put at a buck thirty. It's currently trading at a buck forty-five. See if they can come take me out here in the next minute. No, get to, get back down there. You're doing good. Four seventy five for tranche two. Buck fifty for tranche three. Build it a buck fifty for tranche three. Four sixty for tranche two. I'm out. So that was a good winner. So tranche one, I got in at 605, stopped at 685. So lost 80 cents on my smallest position, tranche one. Tranche two, got in at 640. Out at 460. And tranche three, in at 365, added a buck 50. Looks like it's coming down for that 4,400 pin.
4402. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. I'll take that. That's a good win for PH. Uh, let's see. So as far as the live stream goes for tomorrow, which is the 22nd. So yeah, I'll be streaming live in the morning and for power hour tomorrow. All right, my friends, take care. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.